Are you finding that you're still tired after sleeping all night long? This is the video that you need to watch and it's called excessive daytime sleepiness. Now what happens is when you go to bed at night, there are waves of hormones that occur and there are 90 minute cycles and there's four of them. And when you go through these waves, there's different levels. Okay. So the superficial uh, layer is the REM sleep. That's the superficial light sleep. And then you have the Delta. This is the deep sleep. This is where you recharge. This is the goal is to get down here. Now, what would prevent you from getting in the Delta wave? Well, of course, stress will, but what I want to talk about is other things that you might not know. Okay. Number one, vitamin D deficiency. If you're deficient in vitamin D, it's going to be very difficult to get into the Delta wave. So you would want to take about 20,000 IUs of vitamin D, um, somewhere like in the morning or maybe lunchtime, or you get a lot of sun. And that's probably why your sleep cycles are much better when you get more sun. So you can do the sun or vitamin D. So that's number one. Number two, fermented foods like sauerkraut. There's a huge connection between your gut and your brain. Okay. So if the microbes have enough food and the cool thing about fermented foods is not only does that provide fiber, but also friendly microbes as well. And one of the reasons why it will do that is that the microbes actually make little proteins that help you form neurotransmitters like serotonin, GABA, and those are the things that reduce stress. So your gut brain connection is very important. And then omega-3 fatty acids. So many people consume too much omega-6 fatty acids like soy oil, canola, corn, cottonseed oil. Those are all inflammatory. We don't have enough omega-3. This is in fish or cod liver oil. And then we have the EMF, electromagnetic fields. This is something very new to people. I'm going to create a separate video on it, but this is huge. If you're sitting in front of your computer for hours and hours and hours, you are going to be drained of energy. And that could be the reason why you're trying to sleep and you're not being recharged. Okay. More on this later, but I did put a link down below. If you wanted to start learning about this right here, especially the cell phone. And if you have Wi-Fi going right up into those little earphones, bad idea. And number five, if you have a chronic infection, let's say you have um, some type of, I don't know, Epstein-Barr virus or some low-grade infection from maybe, I don't know, infection in your tooth or some infection in your gut, and that's just been there for years, this right here will keep you tired. I did put together a video on this, which I'm going to put a link down below. But for this, I would recommend a natural antibiotic like oregano, for example, or even garlic. That's really good to wipe out these um, chronic infections. And with chronic infections, like you're always tired, regardless of how much sleep you have. And you're taking all these vitamins. You're not seeing any change because there's an immune reaction. And immune reactions spike histamines. So if you suspect having that, check out the video down below. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.